Praise the Lord. Greetings to you in the matchless and powerful name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I would like to take this opportunity to share a few words from the Word of God and encourage you. We all face hard and tough situations in life. When we face difficulties, we get depressed and disappointed. But the Word of God says in Psalms chapter 46 and verse 1, God is a very present help in times of trouble. Yes. When we face hard times, we would like to have our family and friends to support us, but we might not be able to get the support and the strength that we need from them. But remember, my friend, that God is always there and always available to help you in your time of need. Jesus is giving an open invitation to all of us in Matthew chapter 11 and verse 28. Come to me, all who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. So many times in life we get restless, that's because we don't put our burdens on the Lord, we don't trust in Him, we don't depend on Him and we try to carry our burdens ourselves. And that's the reason we get restless and we lose our joy in life. The Bible also says to cast all our cares on Him because He cares for us. Remember my friend, more than your father and mother, more than your dear friends and dear ones, God cares about you and He is concerned for you and He has good thoughts and plans for your life. Yes, we all make plans and thoughts for life, but the Bible says that God's plans and God's thoughts for our lives are much greater and higher than the plans that we have for ourselves. When we are faced with hard times in life, sometimes we get a question, will I be able to get through this situation? Is there a solution to my problem? I would like to share an illustration to encourage you. There was a soldier who believed in Jesus Christ and when he was fighting in a battlefield, the enemy started overtaking them and, and the soldiers started running to save their lives. And this guy who believed in the Lord went and hid himself in a cave. And as soon as he entered the cave, he started praying, Oh Lord, I trust in you and I know you are a good God. Would you please save my life from the hand of the enemy? As soon as he finished that prayer, when he opened his eyes, he saw a spider coming to the entrance of the cave and this spider built a spider web at the entrance. When this guy saw the spider web, he said, Lord, all I wanted is a brick wall as a protection from my enemies and now you sent me a spider and is this spider web going to protect me from my enemy? You sound funny, Lord. That's what this guy thought. After some time, he heard the enemy's footsteps coming in the direction in which this guy was staying. He started praying even harder to save his life. When the enemies came towards him, the leader of the enemy said, let's not waste time searching in this cave because if there's someone in this cave, there wouldn't be a spider web here. So let's go forward and search in the other places. And the, the enemies left. When the guy saw how God has protected him miraculously, he just praised God and said, Lord, all I wanted was a brick wall, but this spider web which you have sent for me is much more stronger than the brick wall I wanted. Yes, dear friends, our God works in mysterious ways and we do not know really how God works, but when you trust in Him, He would work out all situations for your benefit and He will see you through your tough time. Just trust in Him and depend on Him and whatever situation you are going through, remember that God has a solution for your problem. I would like to close this with a verse from the Bible, Proverbs chapter 3 verse 5, the word of God says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge Him and He will make your paths straight. Yes, God can straighten your paths. He can remove all obstacles from your life and He will give you a success so that you can succeed in your life. I would like to pray with you right now. Can you close your eyes? Dear loving Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, because you are a good God. Even as your children trust on you and depend on you, whatever situation they are going through right now, oh Lord, I pray that you might be their help. And Lord, I pray that you might give them the solution that they need. I pray that you might give them the comfort and strength that they need to face the situation. And I also pray that you would see them through the situation. In Jesus' most precious and matchless name I pray. Amen. I hope you're blessed by this video, dear friends. And if you are blessed, don't forget to share it with your family and friends. God bless you and have a great week.